Well, hello, and welcome to this year's Whiskey Concierge Whiskey Calendar for 2021. My name is Andre Roy. I'm a certified whiskey ambassador, and I'm here to help you taste all of the 25 great whiskeys we have in this year's whiskey calendar. I will hope to be here every day for the next 25 days. I may miss a day or two. It's a lot of work to do for 25 days, but that's my goal. Um, but uh, for the most part, I will be here, but it won't just be me. So if you don't like the look of this, I don't blame you. A lot of people don't, but I will be having special guests throughout the 25 days. People from the distilleries. We have founders and distillers and brand ambassadors and people who have been at those distilleries for years and know the, the distillery and the product like the back of their hands. They will be joining us and, and speaking to not only that day's dram, but also how it's produced and, and uh, what makes their distillery unique and, and, and talk about their personal histories and, uh, and also the histories of the distillery. So uh, we're going to have an awful lot of fun. Uh, I certainly hope that you can join us. Uh, every day, um, because isn't it more fun when you share a dram with friends than by just drinking it all by yourself? Although there are days. So um, let's move on with today's offering, day one. And boy, are we getting a great one. We're getting a 24 year old Space Side first dram of the whiskey concierge whiskey calendar. And already we're tasting something that is absolutely beautiful. Now, where does it come from? Well, it comes from this great uh, independent bottling, a bottling company, that boutique whiskey company. Probably familiar to a lot of you out there. Maybe not so much for those who have not been in the whiskey game for uh, an awful long time, but they are becoming more and more popular. And boy, oh boy, are they in here disrupting things. And by that, I mean in a very, very good way. Um, they are an independent bottler. Uh, they're owned by Adam Brands, and that's the company behind uh, Master of Malt. So we know that uh, they've got uh, uh, great roots there. Um, and uh, basically what they've been doing is they just wander the world, uh, dropping into different distilleries around the globe. As a matter of fact, they've, uh, they've visited and, 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 and bought off samples from over 145 distilleries. And uh, they squirrel that stuff away and take it home. Uh, and then they blend it and they bottle it and they do their little bit of magic and then they release it under the that whiskey boutique or that boutique whiskey company uh, and they will release it to the world. Uh, so um, they uh, they like to have fun. Now they're very, very serious about their whiskey. But let me show you. Um, they don't take themselves too seriously. They love to have fun. Um, they're in there trying different things, doing new things, things that we may not have thought of. And uh, boy, they're not wanting to be your father's whiskey distillery. They want to bring excitement and, and, uh, and, and new colors and new ways of, of, of promoting and doing things. Um, and uh, I, I, I urge you to go to their website and read more about them. But as you can see from their homepage on the website, yeah, they're, um, they're not your uh, traditional um, uh, uh, whiskey independent bottlers. Here's uh, another page from their, um, uh, their website uh, where they're uh, going to start showing everything that they sell. Um, again, new colors and very, very bold. But look where they're getting some of their stuff from. I mean, they're not just picking that up from a boothie out in the middle of the uh, highlands. They're going to the big boys and they're picking up some barrels from them and they take it home and they're having an, all, an awful lot of fun blending it to their way. I mean, look at those labels. Obviously, they're trying to be very different and I think they're succeeding. And because they like to have fun, um, we're going to uh, also have fun. So um, let me stop the share. Come back to me. It's time to do a tasting. I will just take a peek at my notes here and um, let you know that this particular tasting is the Space Eye 24 year old. Now, while that boutique whiskey company usually tells you where they're getting their stuff from, they like to have fun. And occasionally they will bring out something like this where they don't tell you the distillery. They just get it and they do what they want. And it's kind of a one-off. 
And uh, it, we're lucky uh, because it's a one-off that we're getting to taste. Now, I know that this one is all gone. This particular Speyside 24-year-old uh, batch number one has been sold out. You can't find it anywhere else. So day one, you're already getting something that is so unique, it's not even available anymore. Let's um, talk about uh, the label on this particular bottle. Let me show you a better shot of this so you can see the details. And um, I can tell you a bit more about what they like to do. Now, this particular bottle, whether or not you can read there at the bottom of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the bottle, the, um, they are uh, starting, uh, they do this a lot. They do comics, uh, manga comics, uh, and they tie in their whiskey. And this particular 24-year-old from Speyside is the beginning of a new series for them that they are going to be um, working on. And it has their hero, uh, a whiskey warrior from Scotland being bestowed powers by the whiskey God and having a whole bunch of fun doing a whole bunch of fun things. Um, so as you can see, uh, they're not interested in the least in being normal. They want to have fun. And this is some of the um, comics that they've done in the past. So you can see that they don't just do this every now and again. This is what they do all the time. So they're having fun. But let's taste. I've already decantered mine. And oh boy, on that nose, you can immediately get cereal and, and citrus, apple, you know what? Apple pie, apple baked goods, getting some soft spices, a touch of caramel maybe. And at 24 years old, obviously there's no burn, it's just smooth. Oh, wow, creamy. Well, 24 years old. Again, more, more apple pie, apple, apple turnovers. I'm, I'm getting mom's home cooking here. Um, bit of spice, bit of cinnamon. It's oily, great mouthfeel, bit nutty. And the finish is just lingering. Mm, buttery toffee. Again, uh, baked goods. Oh, definitely apples. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it's all gone, so I won't be able to get myself a bottle of this. But I am certainly glad I was able to enjoy this one. And I hope you've enjoyed it as well. As a matter of fact, if you have enjoyed it, please drop us a comment. Let us know what you thought of day one's offering from that boutique whiskey company, their Speyside 24-year-old. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad you were able to join us today. I hope you'll be uh, joining us tomorrow because I know we have a special guest. And uh, we'll hopefully be together all month long. So for today... Andre Roy saying thanks for joining us. Slash about.